I came to this realization today, just, just a little while ago actually, that um, the whole COVID thing, it's really being held up by people who won't shut up about it. I mean, that's it. If you think about it, like, this is just a completely different way to think about this, and it's mind-blowing when it's put to you this way, because we've been drenched for so long in this whole COVID hysteria. But I want you to think for just a minute about the last places that you heard about COVID. Where is it that COVID came into your life? Was it a friend who got sick? Was it a trip to the ER? Or was it the news? Was it mainstream media, political talking heads on YouTube? Where did it come from? So, this is a challenge I'm issuing to you, whoever's watching me right now. Think about the last time you heard about COVID. Think about the last, you know, few times that COVID came into your life in some way. Anyway, a passing mention, anything that was not from a media source, an online commentator, a newspaper, a news article, a flyer of some sort posted somewhere. If there was not documentation and constant chatter about COVID, would you know that there was a so-called pandemic? And that's what really blows my mind. Because if I think about it, no, I don't let people come into my house because COVID, right? And because I don't want them to see the mess, which I'm not going to let you see either. But I don't let people come in. I stay away from them, blah, blah, blah. People wear masks, whatever, right? But if everybody took off the masks right now, and all the posters that said, you know, masks required or maintain social distance, if all the things that remind you about COVID existing came down, how much would COVID actually play into your life? How many people do you know that have had COVID? How many people do you know that have died of COVID? And I'm not talking about, oh, I read a news article where, uh, you know, Elvis Presley died or something. Obviously, that's a joke, but I'm not talking about where you read about someone dying. I'm talking about someone you know, someone who you know through a connection saying that someone died. When was the last time you heard about it? Because I guarantee you, if you really think about it, COVID's influence on your life outside of other people changing their behavior to adversely affect you has not been very strong. If you are one of the few people who has been afflicted with some kind of temporary or permanent injury because of COVID, if one of your relatives has died, I am truly sorry, and I offer you my condolences. However, we're not talking about you and your one person. We're talking about a bigger thing than that. We're talking about going beyond a person, going beyond your little social group. If you did not have constant reminders about how hysterically bad COVID really is, and how you need to be always on looking for some kind of danger, would you even know it was there? Think about it. Who, who do you know that's had COVID? Over the past, what has it been now? Uh, it's December 2021. Over the past almost two years, it's been about 22 months that COVID's been a thing in the United States. Over the past 22 months, how many of the people you know have died from COVID? have had permanent health conditions from COVID. How far into your inner sanctum does COVID actually reach without the assistance of postings and talking heads and hysteria? And that bell means I have something to do. So I want you to ruminate on that. Let me know in the comments. It blew my mind because I know a couple of people who've had COVID. That's about it. It's amazing. 22 months, and I think I've known three or four people, total, ever, at all, that have had COVID. All right.
like, comment, subscribe, you know the deal. JodyBruchon.com for ways to support me financially. I do spend that money in good ways. So, yeah, thank you very much. Take care.